Hey guys, welcome to Alice Every Day, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a rustic table, sofa table for your coffee and your phone or controller. It's a very easy build. I uh, gave it a rough finish at the end. Very rustic, so matches the house. And yeah, let's get started. So guys, welcome to this project. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little cube uh, that's gonna go over the armrest of the sofa. And I'm not gonna put up dimensions because it, it all depends on your sofa and your specific whatever you wanna put on top of it. Um, in my case, I just made a little cube. It's just gonna go just sit right on top of the sofa armrest. And then you'll see how I added the little compartments at the top. So here you're just gonna see me try to get straight cuts on every board that I have. I am using all scrap woods from pallets that I have, and um, that's what I enjoy making in, in these projects. As long as I can reuse wood, that is awesome. Now I do wanna make three uh, boards that are um, gonna go one on one side, one on the other, and one on the top, as long as they are the same length wise um, they will fit perfectly the top one I actually measured out to be just a little bit over the armrest so that way it doesn't fit too tight but it actually can move around without messing up the sofa As you can see, I have my three boards. I actually have four boards. I cut um, one extra because I thought I was gonna put on top to give them more support to the top, but I found out I didn't need it. So I just used three boards. Here I am making sure they're all very straight and they're all the exact width that I would like for the top of the armrest. Now I'm gonna measure out the line that I gotta cut because I do need to make it just a little bit smaller and just rip it. Now for a dry test, I'll just line them up and see if everything is how it should. And now the fun begins. Since this is a, a repurposed wood, I do not have a planer, so I do have to shave it down as much as I can with my sander. I do love how sanding these woods uh, shows a whole different side that you had no idea was right under there. So I kind of enjoy this process. Now I did glue up a small little square that I'm gonna put on the top that I'm gonna use to hold a drink or a coffee, in my case. Um, I just made this same width as the top and just two little pallet pieces that I had, glue them together and cut it up into a square, which later I'll be drilling a hole into. Now at this point, I found some extra pieces and I was like, I'm just gonna put them around, make a little border around the top so I can actually hold the phone where it should go or the controller so it won't slip out so this is this can be anything that you want to use i just happen to have spare ply around and i cut tiny little frames and that's what i'll end up using now i am making sure that everything frames up before i start hitting it with some nails and gluing Once 
as everything's nicely framed up, I'm just gonna put some pins to hold it in place. Make sure the phone fits and it's all good. Now I want to make sure exactly the middle of the square that I made to place my coffee cup. Now the biggest portion or bit that I have is two inches. Um, if you want to fit a regular cup, usually you're going to need one around three inches, but since I'm just going to use it for coffee, two inches works perfectly fine. Now I did punch the middle to make sure it's exactly in the middle and I clamped down my wood and let's begin to carve it down. Now I did want to make sure that I wasn't going to go all the way through because it was going to be too deep for the coffee, but I did make it almost to the end. Once I've already drilled the hole, I do want to sand down the sides to make it smoother. It is very rough, so I just want to make it very nice and smooth so the cup actually sits nicely in there and it won't be getting stuck on the corners or any of the edges or the sides. Now time for some glue. Now you do want to apply a lot of glue at this point because it is very, it's a rough surface and you want to make sure it's going to stay in there because at the end I will cut just the ends of it. And I don't want my coffee to be spilling anywhere. So make sure it has a lot of glue and you clamp it down and you let it dry. At this point, after it's already dried, I grabbed and just dry assembly it and I saw that everything was perfect. And what I was gonna do is just set some nails onto it and make sure it aligns nice and flush with the sides. Now I, I did make it align with the top of each border because it makes a nicer look than just having it just just having it all the way up or just all the way down. Now this is up to you, however you like to do it. I just prefer that way and it turned out very nice. Make sure you set enough pins on each side because this will be holding down hot coffee and most importantly, your phone and the controller. Now it did end up being skewed a little bit on the bottom and that is fine for my case because it's gonna help it grab on to the sofa armrest and that way it stays. Now again, make sure it fits and here you go. That is the final product. Now I did see that I uh, wanted to match more of a rustic look on the house, so I applied some stain to it. And here it is. Now it matches beautifully. So guys, at the end, I did give it a stain and it turned out very, very nice. I'm happy with it. Uh, I was going for that rustic look and it fits perfect. Um, let me know how yours turned out. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share with somebody that might enjoy doing this project. 
Again, thank you very much for watching and see you on the next build.